Hi everyone, my name is George, I'm an amateur astrophotographer and in today's video I'm really excited to share with you a rare celestial event that is happening right now. The dwarf planet Ceres is passing near the galaxy called the Blower Dryer Galaxy as we observe it from Earth. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your support. It is Sunday of March 26th and we're at the beginning of the galaxy season. Springtime is often referred to as the galaxy season among amateur astrophotographers as it presents an ideal opportunity to capture stunning images of galaxies through a telescope. And for example, during this time, the Earth's position in its orbit brings us face to face with the Virgo Cluster, a vast collection of galaxies in the sky. Messiah 100 is one such interesting target for astrophotographers during this galaxy season. This galaxy is also known as the Blow Dryer Galaxy and it is a part of the Virgo Cluster that lies approximately 55 million light years from us. And what makes tonight's observation even more special is the unique opportunity to capture the dwarf planet Ceres as it passes right in front of this galaxy. And uh, this rare celestial event offers a fascinating matching between the spiral galaxy that lies million light years away from us and the largest object in the asteroid belt in our solar system. And I really hope that I'll be able to get a nice picture of this conjunction that I will share with you guys at the end of this video. All right, guys, so I'm in the middle of my imaging session and right now I'm capturing truly interesting images that I'm excited to share with you all. So for capturing, I'm using Nina software and within the Nina app, you can see both the blow dryer galaxy and dwarf planet series that are beautifully framed at right at the center of the camera field of view. And let me actually explain you what we're looking at. So as I said, uh, at the center of the camera field of view, there is uh, the blow dryer galaxy. Uh, you can definitely see its galaxy structure, spiral arms, and really bright core. And the star that it's on the right from the galaxy core, this one, a really bright star with the spikes, is exactly the dwarf planet Ceres that is making its way right almost in front of the Blow Dryer galaxy. Now let me briefly tell you about the gear I'm using tonight. So the main imaging telescope is Skywatcher 150 PDS. It is a 6-inch Newton reflector with a 750 mm focal length and f-ratio on this telescope is f5. The main imaging camera that's located right here is ZWO2600 MC Pro. It is a one-shot color dedicated astronomy camera that has a cooling system allowing to reduce the temperature of the sensor which results in lesser amount of noise on your images and for tonight the sensor will be cooled to minus 20 degrees celsius of course i'll be using guiding and for that purpose i have a 60 millimeter guide scope with a guide camera from sv boini this one is sv boini sv305 and as you may already know i tried to run the cable management on this setup and uh, I have the mini PC and Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box placed right on the top of the telescope. And that's allowing me to basically locate all the main cords that I need to run the system on the top. And as a result, I have only a couple of cords running from the telescope to the ground. Uh, the first one is the power cord that goes to a Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box and the rest of the cords I need to connect the mount and the imaging camera to the mini PC that is placed right here on the top. And of course the whole setup is mounted on Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. Okay, so let's look at my sequence. Uh, right now I'm taking uh, 180 second exposures, uh, gain 100, offset 50. And basically right now I'm passing halfway of my sequence. So the forecast says, um, where's my phone? So the forecast says that I will have clear skies till like maybe midnight, maybe 30 minutes after midnight. And then I'm gonna have some clouds with uh, upcoming rain in the morning. If everything goes smoothly, I think I'll be able to get three hours worth of total exposure time that later on I'll be processing. And for you guys, it's gonna take just a few seconds, but for me, it's gonna take maybe a day or two to process the data. And at the end of this video, I want to share with you the final image of the Blow Dryer Galaxy and the Dwarf Planet series. And also I'm planning to make an animation of the planet's 
of the dwarf planet's movement in the night sky and I'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like. Alright guys, so fortunately some clouds suddenly appeared and I had to wrap up my imaging session a bit earlier than expected. Uh, nevertheless, I managed to collect a little more than two hours worth of data, which should still provide me with a nice final result. In fact, at the end of this video, I have a final picture to share with you, showcasing the beauty of this celestial event. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this exciting astrophotography journey. If you enjoyed watching this video or find information informative, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I really hope to see you in my future videos, but until then, clear skies!